Hey there, everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a video and talking to you about software updates, primarily how to do a software update on your Garmin Instinct watch and how to even see whether or not you need an update on your Garmin Instinct watch. I had a, a question on one of my other videos from a user who basically just got their Garmin Instinct and they're trying to figure out, is my software up to date and how would I know that? How would I go about uh, figuring that out? So that's why I thought it might be beneficial to do this video. So first, let me say, as in all my videos, I'm using the watch with the keys as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. Uh, this video should work no matter which version of the watch you're using, whether it's the Solar like I've got, whether it's the Tactical, uh, whether it's the Solar Tactical or the uh, non-Tactical. Um, the other thing I want to mention is uh, software updates is kind of, it kind of depends on the user as far as how you do this. There's multiple ways to do software updates and then there's multiple philosophies about whether or not you should update your software or not. Now, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just going to show you some of the basics so you know how to go check and see if there's an update. And then if you want to install it, you can install that update. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to go see what version of software you're on. And this is really easy. All we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the menu button and we're going to navigate down to settings. We're going to press the GPS button to go into our settings. And then we are going to navigate all the way down to about. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell you everything about your current watch. It'll give you the unit number. And then primarily what we're looking for here is it shows you the software version. I'm on 10.10. .10. That's the software version that I'm using. So that's how you see what version of software are you currently running. If you press back and you go up to system, this is something else I'm going to show you. If you choose system and you go all the way down to software update and then press GPS to select it, you'll see in my case, I've got auto update and I've got it off. So this is where I say is this is a philosophy. Most people will probably have this set to on. If you do have it set to on, whenever there's a software update available, you'll get a notification on your watch that there's an update available. And if you're connected to uh, your uh, Garmin Connect app and the Wi-Fi, usually at nighttime, they'll update the software automatically for you using the app and using your watch. If you're somebody like me who has the update off, you won't get any notifications that there's a software update at all. It's basically on you to go figure out if you need to update your software or not. So if you want it on, all you're gonna do is you're gonna switch it to on. And if you wanna put it back off, you can switch it to off. I, I will say this, some people have said if this is on, you can go in here and you can just manually say, update my software. Uh, that currently doesn't work for me. Garmin did have a, um, a data breach a while back and they cut off some of the features as far as the software updates. For example, you used to be able to do this anytime you wanted to through your Garmin Connect app. Uh, currently, it's October 2020. You can't do it anymore through your Garmin Connect app. Um, not saying that won't be uh, available in the future, but currently you can't do that anymore. Um, but the same thing in here. You can basically say to put the auto update on or off, but in my case, I don't have the option to go just push the update. If it's on, it's gonna push it whenever it wants to push it. And again, usually that's at nighttime. So anyway, that's another thing to show you is, is how to cut on your auto updates on or off. So what I've done so far is I've shown you what version of software I'm on and that I've got my auto updates off. So now the question is, okay, I'm running 10.10. .10. How do I know that there's another update out there? And then how do I install it if I don't wanna do auto updates on my watch? And I'm gonna to switch to the computer now and I'm gonna walk you through the rest of the process on the computer. Okay, everybody. So now we're on my computer. And at this point, all we've done is we've looked at our watch to see what version of software we're running. And now we're just on the internet and we've gone to this website. I'll put this in the video. Uh, this is the Garmin website where you can see if they've put out any updates for the Garmin Instinct. And uh, you can see, in this case, they've got 11.00 uh, beta version. You can download the update here and manually load it to your watch. They've got some installation instructions if you were to click here. I like going to this website because it shows you, A, what uh, updates are out there. There's also an email address. If you did do an update and you're having problems with it, you can email them and let them know you know, what's going on, get some troubleshooting tips. But I like reading to see what are the changes they've made in this update so I can decide whether I even want to download it or not. And you can see, as we said, I'm running 10.10. .10. Well, from 10.10, .10, they also released an update that was 10.72. .10, 
and then it shows you here, this is what they put in that update. And then from 10.72 to 11.00, you can see this is what they put out there. So you might be asking, well, why not just download the uh, latest update? I usually try not to download it unless there's something that they've delivered that I really need. Um, sometimes when they put out these updates, there can be negative impacts that they didn't foresee that they don't figure out until the beta users start using it. So I kind of like reading the forms and making sure the updates haven't had any kind of negative impact before I go ahead and install the update. Uh, in this case, the update that they've put out there uh, improves the heart rate monitoring. It looks like it helps with some of the Bluetooth support. So this is something that I might go ahead and download. This one before where all they did is add the time zone that I'm not gonna use. I just don't see a, a reason to go ahead and get that update uh, until further down the road. So this is one thing you can do is you can just go to this website, check to see if there's any updates out there and see what those updates are doing. The other thing that you can do is if you don't have it already, there's an application that you can download called Garmin Express. And when you go into Garmin Express, you can load in all of your Garmin devices. So in my case, you can see I've got an eTrex, here's my Instant Solar. Uh, I've got a couple of different navigation um, Garmin's, but you can click on your Instinct. You've got to plug your uh, watch into the computer so they can read it and it'll tell you whether or not you've got an update that you need to do. Now, the one thing I will mention is you'll see that in my case, it says, hey, you're up to date, and it shows the software version. The reason it's showing that is because the minute you plug it in, it will automatically start doing the update. So if you don't wanna get the update, don't plug your watch into your computer. Uh, you can open Garmin Express, and it'll tell you whether or not there's an update out there, just like we saw here on the website. But the minute that you plug in your watch, and you've got Garmin Express open, it's gonna start automatically doing that update for you. And that's what we've done in my case. So I updated my watch from 10.10 to 11.0, and I did it by plugging it into my computer and opening Garmin Express. So uh, that's, that's kind of a quick run through. You can use Garmin Express to do it. You can download the update from the Garmin website and load it manually to your uh, Garmin Instinct. Uh, like I say, you used to be able to do it with the Garmin Connect app. That's currently disabled. And then if you've got your watch set to automatically update, if it's on the network, it'll do it automatically. So I hope that helps as far as giving you a rundown to see what version you're on and how to get to the latest version. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them as always in my uh, YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, there's just one thing I wanted to update uh, just to let you know. So. Uh, so far, we checked what version of software I had. We found out that there was an update out there. We connected it to Garmin um, Express, and I was showing you a minute ago that, hey, my, my software is up to date. That's really not true, and the reason it's not true for mine is because I've got automatic updates off, it didn't go ahead and install the update automatically when I connected it to Garmin Express. Had I had that on, I think it would automatically do it all the way through Garmin Express, but in my case, what it did is if I go into my settings, oops, and just like we looked at before, if I go to about, you'll notice that I'm still running 10.10, .10, but this time when I go into system and I go to software update, see how I'm still auto update off, but now I've got the option to install 11.00. Before I didn't have that because I didn't have the update on my watch. I've got automatic updates off. I had no way to get the update. When I connected it to Garmin Express, now I've got the update on my watch. And because I don't have auto update on, I have to manually say that I want to install that update. Uh, there is usually a screen that'll come on and say, hey, it'll let you know that you've got the update. And it'll say, do you want to install it now or do you want to wait until tonight? But uh, again, uh, if you've got the auto update off, you've got to manually push that update whenever you're ready for the update. So I hope that doesn't confuse you, but uh, it kind of depends on how you've got your, your auto update settings on your, on your watch. So anyway, again, if you've got questions, put them in the video. I'm happy to help out if I can. Thanks.